Hey everyone, it's John here. It's been a long time, but I've been working on the Castle Clear from Blue Eagle Labs. It was a Kickstarter project, and this is a Delta, a Castle Delta, based off of the Rostock Delta, which has evolved into the Castle rigid design here, using aluminum extrusions. And I did get this off Kickstarter. I believe the kit, early backer kit, was 550, and uh, this is from Blue Eagle Labs. You can see it there on the acrylic, kind of, and um, it features a 8 by 8 by 11 build inch area, cubic inches. And you can see that the nozzle there, that's the max height it can do. But some other features we have is the heated bed, an add on I design where it added was the cork underneath to keep the electronics cool because there are electronics stored underneath here. And I also added with some hot glue uh, a magnetic build plate so I can just snap it off and push it back on and access the, the ramps electronics which are underneath. And ramps are just the open source there we go, right in there. And ramps are just the open source version of Arduino. Uh, it goes on top of the Arduino and allows you to control a 3D printer. It also has a Bowden tube which uses 1.75 millimeter filament. You see down there the motor. It's got a fixed tube that holds on the end and then pushes the filament through the tube here to a push to connect fitter fitting and that pushes it through a 0.4 millimeter nozzle at the hot end here and it's heated by a resistor just being overheated and then it, right there you also see the auto calibration probe which has an end stop it's just like an end stop like you see up here which stops the end of the carriages from going off track but here it's supposed to flip down off this device I printed and coded myself so that it could flip down before I reprint. And right now I have it have it hooked up, ready to go. You can see it's ready. And I'm just going to print. Let's see what if it goes right now. So right now it just sent the G28 code, which is home, and then a G29 code. This is G code, used for CNC machines. And it flipped down the probe based off the position I've already worked out. And now it's homing again. It's gonna go all the way back down to the bottom. Very slowly. And then it's just going to touch the print bed. Very slowly. It doesn't even make a click. And I believe it's 32 or 36 times, but it also seems to do it in a circular pattern. And what it's doing basically is understanding where every point on the bed is in the Z, which is the height. And it is going to change the, uh, the print automatically and adjust for that height so it's all equal. And as you can see right here, these are all the, all the heights of the bed. So that first one there, 113, is how high the bed, bed is. And it's the same for the first two. And the more, the more closely these are all related, the more level your bed is, but not every bed is level perfectly. So this actually helps you get a good first layer going and you get a good print. And right now it's just going to heat up to 250 and then it's going to start. And I think I've already programmed the purge feature here, which means it should go over to the to the right here and push out a bunch of filament, but I don't know if I included it in this print exactly. Nope. Okay, so it's starting the print, and I program my my slicer device, my slicer program to make a bunch of circles before starting, which would give it a nice good prime, to make sure plastic's actually coming out before it actually starts in the print itself. And this is going to be a very large print; you won't be able to see the whole thing right now. Maybe the finished product if it comes out okay. And you can see it is printing very nicely. You're going to hear the extruder click a lot on the first layer, and it's because I have kind of haven't worked out the tweaks yet, but I can't seem to get a good first layer without pressing the filament very hard onto the glass. It's not even touching the glass, it's just very close to it. And it is, uh, I don't mind the first layer clicking a little bit too much, so it's just, it's just losing torque. You can see it back there, probably not. This motor back here is just losing a little bit of torque. It's pushing, pushing, and then it'll click back at some point right there. 
It's because mm -hmm. it's so low. As the next two or three layers go, it won't do that anymore, and it'll print very smoothly. But uh, I don't know if I have time to show you all this, but I do have a filament system in place. You see all these little pegboard snap-on holders that are supposed to be for your devices, but it actually works really well for filament. The filament goes up below the pegboard there, through a screwdriver holder, and then onto this, this filament. And this is PLA. It stands for polylactic poly acid, which is plant-based, and this has no odor uh, like ABS does. ABS smells like burning plastic, and this is not smelling like burning plastic. It smells kind of like sugar, like maple syrup. So this is the Delta, and this is my new pet project right now. It's running pretty smoothly, so now I have time to move on to my next big project, which is finishing that rep wrap, and I'm looking forward to that. Okay, see you guys later.